On the morning of February 25th, 2023, we are trackside on the west side of Houston at Eureka Junction. Eureka Junction is a major interlocking on the Union Pacific's Houston subdivision. At this location, the Eureka subdivision splits off of the Houston and is a major route for northbound trains out of the city. At the time of filming, Eureka Junction retained many classic searchlight signals from the Southern Pacific era which were serving out their final months. For now though, a high green signal is burning for a westbound empty aggregate train. We relocate to Tower 26, another major interlocking in Houston. Here, the Afersine Houston subdivision crosses the West Belt subdivision, forming one of the busiest railroad locations in Houston. It wasn't long before a northbound mixed freight came into the picture, splitting an installation of vintage trilight signals. We move a couple miles south along the West Belt, are you confused yet, to Control Point Rusk, arguably one of the most classic signal installations remaining in the state of Texas. This hodgepodge of searchlight signals also has its days numbered, as not long after our visit, some replacement signal masts were installed. However, as of May 2024, the legacy signals are still on the job.
Fortunately, another southbound was fast approaching. Here we see it approaching South G&H Junction, which also retains a full set of searchlight signals for the time being. South G&H Junction and Rusk are unusual in that the two control points nearly overlap each other. As if the unusual overlaps weren't confusing enough, this dwarf searchlight signal isn't even part of Rusk at all. It is an automatic signal along with the two high mast signals on the right. All three of these signals rest in yellow when no trains are nearby. It is certainly a shame to see these classic signals disappear, and I consider myself fortunate to have gotten the chance to document these pieces of living history. Thank you for watching.